Hi, I'm Chad with JM4 Tactical. We're going to go over a few of the model holsters that we have so to help you make your right decision when purchasing from us. Our first holster is going to be the high rod. It is designed for jeans and belts. Right here, it gives you that shooter's grip. You can basically wear it anywhere from cross draw all the way back to four o'clock. Now four o'clock, you can also cant the holster so you can have the grip riding right here. But I wear right here and it's going to be easy to draw from. Now the thing about the high rod is the placement of the magnets are a little bit lower on the slide so you will get a little bit less magnetic retention. This next holster we're going over is also the high rod but it's with a smaller gun. It's with a Hellcat. The last one was with a Glock 19. If you notice here, you can still get your amp grip on the farm and be able to draw. So like I was talking about earlier, and we do also make cuts for RMRs, but magnets a little bit lower placed on to the slide, but these are designed for jeans and belts. But if you do have a smaller gun, these high rods work well with athletic wear also. Now the next holster we're gonna talk about is the magnetic original holster, okay? It is designed more for athletic wear. The grip's gonna sit a little lower in your waistline. So if you notice here, so it's a little bit harder to get a draw on unless you have a bigger gun. Now the retention on these, the magnets are actually placed in the center of the holes or the center of the gun. So you're gonna have mag more magnetic retention to be able to hold your gun firearm into the holster. Now this is also an original with the Hellcat, which the Hellcat is a smaller gun. And I'm gonna show you how low that grip sits down in here. So I definitely recommend getting a high ride if you're gonna wear jeans and belts with a smaller gun or even a bigger gun. Now all our holster models and magnetic on the high rods do come in a tuckable where the strap is not sewed to the body of the holster and you can tuck your shirt between the strap and the holster itself. Now we're gonna go over in athletic wear. This is the high rod with the Glock 19. It's still here, you can still draw. Everything's still good. It just has a little bit less magnetic retention, but it is a heavier gun, so therefore it is top heavy. Now this is the original with the Glock 19 in it, and it is easier to go in an elastic waistband with your thumb and be able to grab and draw out and still retain your grip, a good grip. Now this is an original with a smaller gun, so yes, your gun's gonna sit a little bit lower in your waistline, you'll still be able to draw. And you can wear these anywhere on your waistline. Make sure you tie up your drawstrings. Okay, this is a smaller gun. This is a Hellcat, and this is the high rod in athletic wear. So yes, you can use the high rod for, with the smaller guns for um, athletic wear or jeans. It's when you start getting into the bigger guns, the heavier guns, that it becomes a little bit of a problem maybe in, with the high rod in athletic wear because you have a top heavy gun. I hope this video helps you with any questions you may have. If, they, if it doesn't or you still have more questions, please contact us. You can contact us through chat on th online at jm4tactical.com or you can contact us at 325-704-5015. We'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And if you don't see your gun model on the sizing chart or the relic sizing chart, contact us. More than likely, we can make it. Thanks for watching.